humans, I'm Yo Shiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Folks, we've made it, we've made it to part 100 of my 100% gameplay walkthrough. Now, I knew that going into this game that this walkthrough would be well over 100 parts long, and while I don't have anything particularly special planned for this occasion, I think that just the fact that I made it this far is special enough. I'm sorry that the walkthrough isn't over by now, and I'm sorry that it's taken me over a year to complete this game. I wanted to avoid both of those things, but... Well, I already gave a similar speech a few parts ago, but the fact that I got 100 parts out in a year's time while also balancing a 40 plus hour per week job and while moving to a new city and while working on other video projects for other clients and myself, I'm just happy that I'm still making it all work. And I'd like to thank everyone that has chosen to support me thus far. I know that viewership of this game has diminished as time has gone on because it's taken me so long to complete this game. So the fact that anyone is even still watching means a lot to me. So hey, if you're still watching this walkthrough, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your continued support. And also, in that one year's time, I'd like to point out that I played through the entirety of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror with friends, I landed a 1080 and 1080 snowboarding for the first time, and I boxed with Hatsune Miku. So it's not like Tears of the Kingdom has been at the forefront of my recording schedule. And this was a similar issue back when I was recording Breath of the Wild and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It took me forever to complete those games as well. And yet, here we are at part 100. I've still been pumping out these hour long videos on a regular basis, and now I've made it all the way to this point. So regardless of whether or not these videos see active viewership, I intend to complete this game simply because I want to. And I mean, I'm in too deep anyway, so I may as well finish it up, right? We're in the home stretch, so I'm gonna do it. Anyway, with that whole opening spiel out of the way, let's get into what I intend to do in this part, huh? Because I assure you that it'll be more than just me talking about my life up to this point. There will be other opportunities for that. So, in the previous parts, I infiltrated Hyrule Castle and came across the Demon King Ganondorf himself. And then I was rescued by my friends and allies, and together we came back to Lookout Landing and had a big, a big ol' group huddle session, and we learned that there is another sage that can help us. So, I have to find this fifth sage so that we can properly defeat Ganondorf and hopefully finally rescue Princess Zelda, who I learned two parts ago is actually the light dragon that wanders the sky. So I, I can't quite see her now, but I know she's there and maybe she can see me or she can like assume where I am. I don't know, but okay, let's go ahead and talk to Pura once more and see what she can suggest. We have to protect Hyrule no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. Yeah, that makes enough sense. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we need to search for the fifth sage. Following the upheaval, I mobilized the Zonai survey team and investigated ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, we found nothing about the fifth sage. There must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't found yet. I can feel it. Yeah, do you have any more insight about this fifth sage? So King Raru and the six sages fought the Demon King in the imprisoning war. Princess Zelda was one of those people, the Sage of Time. There are five sages we know of. Wind, fire, water, lightning, and time. That leaves one more, and I think it's just light. There's light and lightning, right? Hmm. There must be a clue to all of this somewhere. I think it's worth revisiting the ruins from the Age of Legends to see what we can find. Revisiting the ruins. Well, the biggest insight I would have into that would actually be to go back to Kakariko Village. And I've been trying to, like, get this plot squared away in Kakariko Village, but I haven't been able to do anything. And in the process, I found Impa, and then I found all of the geoglyphs here throughout the map. And those gave me the locations of these dragon's tears. And then those allowed me to better understand what the heck is going on with this game's plot. In any case, I think if I go back to Kakariko Village now, now that I've tracked down Impa, now that she said she was gonna go back, and now that I've infiltrated the Hyrule Castle and fought the fake Princess Zelda and fought the Ganondorf and got rescued by the friends and learned about this fifth sage. I think I can go back to here, the ring ruins, and see what's up. See what's up. Because the first time I went to Kakariko Village, they had a sighting of Princess Zelda here, but anytime I try to go and investigate the ruins myself, there's always this guy that's like, no, 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 Princess Zelda said you can't go here. And I want to be like, dude, that's not Princess Zelda. Princess Zelda is now the light dragon in the sky. And I know it sounds crazy, but do you realize what world we're in? It is crazy. So let me see. First, let me see if Impa is even here. Impa, did I beat you back? Because in the time that I spoke to you and now, you should have made it back. Left it out again. Well, you're here. That means Impa should be here, right? Ooh, is that really you? <laughs> Link! Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. 
And right now, too, while our chief is the chief? Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. I did briefly meet her outside. I'll go consult her in a second. But is Impa here? Impa! No, there's a book here. Should I be reading this? No, if it doesn't give me the prompt to read it, then I guess I, I guess I will not. All right, then. Oh, well, there's this book. How about this? Ooh, read Paya. I don't know about this. I kind of just barged in here reading someone's diary. It's very personal. But I'm only doing this to get on good terms with Paya so that I can properly investigate the Ring Ruin so that I can save the world. So if reading this diary helps me save the world, then so be it. One day, Grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like Grandmother, I do have Dorian by my side, or as my aide, for which I am grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that my grandmother has given to me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally. It rather hurts my head. Yeah, Impa does have a big head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact, it was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that has happened, and Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in the books Grandmother was reading. Yes, those would be the geoglyphs that led me to the Dragon's Tears. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? I told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said ring-shaped burins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside, but no spirit within. I cannot hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin. And then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Taro, is, an incredible, is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers volunteered to aid research, and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before, before all else, we must learn more about the Ring Ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that, when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Alright, well that didn't seem too invasive. If anything, it provides a little bit of context. So the current chief feels a little stressed out, she has a lot of pressure, and all these ring ruins are... Well, while they're helping the economy of our village and helping with the tourism, they are not helping with the overall stress that the chief is bearing. But perhaps I can step in. All right, so I get the feeling I'm supposed to come here. Yeah, do you have anything new to say or are you just gonna say that's disappointing? Dis disappointing. I spoke to you the first time I came here long ago and I tried coming back here about two parts ago and didn't have much success. But now that I have a sinking suspicion that this is related to the fifth sage in some way, now should be an appropriate time to talk to you again, right? Master Link! Hello! Are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It has been on our minds for some time. Yes, me as well, for about the past 60 parts or so. Oh, and it's raining! That means climbing needs is going to be obnoxious. We would like to suggest resuming the research, if we may. 
Have you since figured out what became a Princess Zelda? Oh yeah, that was a puppet controlled by Ganondorf and the real Zelda became a dragon in the sky. What? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? Well, not her body, but I'm pretty sure she's the light dragon in the sky now. That's where I got my Master Sword. See it on my back right here? It's such an unbelievable tale. And yet, I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean the real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruin was because the demon king saw it as a threat. Isn't that right? That would make sense to me. That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. You are exactly right. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Yeah, let's spin the camera around then. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Taro. Mm. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. Yeah, let's get this game moving. Let's finally get Kakariko Village's main quest resolved. <laughs> your Lulin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Taro. You must really be pleased. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. Well, I've got the ascend ability, and if nothing else, I made plenty of hot air balloons during my time exploring the depths. I think I can whip up another one. There should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry up and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. All right, you want me just to ascend through it though? Surely there is a path that I can follow where I can just ascend through things. There we go, secret of the ring ruins. Let's get it on. All right, part 100, this is what we're doing. So I can just wander through here, great. No one's gonna bark at me. There's even a hot air balloon over there, should I need it? Well, considering it's raining right now, I'm gonna try to avoid it. I should be able to climb the ladder without the rain pushing me down, yeah? All right. We're losing sunlight, but I'll try to make quick work of this. Now that I can finally climb over here. Oh, it's so exciting. It's exciting to finally navigate these parts, even though it was just like three feet away from where I can normally navigate things. All right, you want me to ascend? Hmm, can't quite ascend through there. Can I ascend? Okay, well now that it's not raining, I guess I can just climb this the old fashioned way. I'm mashing the X button, and I did cook some extra stamina boosting foods in the previous parts. So if I really need them, I got them. Oh, hang on. And up and at them. There we go. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we wanna stand on here now that it's raining again. And there, I can ascend through this. This should be perfect. All right, and then we're looking for this, right? This is exactly what you wanted, was it not? Should I take a photo of it, just in case? I guess I can. Boom, baby. All right, well, hang on to that. Although, that's a, I, I do need to delete some photos soon. I'm running out of space, but for now, I don't suppose I can read it myself. In fact, there's not a whole lot I can do with it at all, so. Perhaps I should just ascend through this and see if it just keeps going. I can keep going up. I'll mash that A button and we'll go through the top here. Woo! Oh, that water is slightly refreshing, isn't it? I don't know why I thought it went higher though. Is that really it? Just to ascend through there, take a picture and leave? Princess Zelda wanted me to avoid all that. All right, well, I guess I can glide on down. Any decent thumbnail shots? Probably like this, right? Here we go, what if I do this? Boop. Okay. Touchdown! He didn't just... Did he? That's right, I do it all. I'm a photographer and an acrobat. Huh, it looks like you disappeared into the ring. Yeah, I guess that's, that is what I was supposed to do. I guess that was the only way in. But that can't be right. Ah, oh, forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. What about this image? Yeah, I guess ascending into the ring makes it so that you can't like fall onto the ring and like try to take a picture on the way down or something. You have to ascend from the bottom. And the only way you can ascend from the bottom is if you have access to this area here through the main quest. So I understand, good. Good proofing your design, Nintendo. There you go. Hopefully you can still see the picture. It's a little zoomed out, but hopefully you can still make out the text. Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. Yeah, that's some good photo quality too. There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm, the photo quality is okay, right? Promise Zelda, solemnly signed, Minoru, Sage of Hide the Key, Southeast, in trust, future, wish, defeat, seeming king. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering, but I can't figure out before Southeast, but Minoru seems to be someone's name. So I now know who Minoru is because I saw all of the dragon's tears. Minoru was the person that Zelda consulted in the first place to try and figure out what the heck was going on. All right, very well. 
Hmm. Look at the context of Minoru. I do believe this is the first time one of these slaps has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. Aha, the inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, it's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm? Ah, you're right. Paya knows her stuff. This should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Oh, thank goodness I've proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. Ahem! Where were we? Something about a dragon land to the southeast? Southeast? Mm, how familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? Well, I've explored the entirety of the map and done all the shrines, so wherever I need to go, I can go. There's a site in Faron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Calip, great catch! The Zonai Ruins in Farron! There's a good chance it's exactly what it's pointing us at. That's our Calip, fantastic work. Glad everyone could prove to be useful in some way. I, I, what did you just say? That this inscription is pointing us toward Farron Zonai Ruins? No, not that, the next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? Oh, fan not tastic. Ah, oh, fantastic work, you mean. <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm, yes. Gallop, what fantastic work you said. Uh. Fantastic, me. Oh. Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we got definite mentions of the sage Minoru, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we've got no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Callip, will you join me? <laughs> oh, of course, I would be, ahem. I would be a fantastic addition to the Deem. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Farron. First, we head southwest. First, we head south. Oh, well, I guess if you guys are walking, yes. We'll establish a base in the Poplar Foothills at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Got it. You want me to meet you there? That I can do. I'm assuming that's just done because at some point, players could come over here without having properly navigated the map. But since I've done that already, I can just warp straight there. In search of new discoveries, we make for Farron! All right, and also just so I can bask in the glory, I can now properly just run through here without someone telling me otherwise, right? They left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. Yeah, you're the new person in charge, right? You're the new chief. Hey, I think you're doing great. We might want to step inside before you ruin that hat. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Taro and Calip. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. You got it. As for me, I'm gonna go ahead and run in the rain real quickly. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! I don't suppose there's like a Korok seat or something over here. If there is, I'll get it a different time. Anything else over here? Just a hot air balloon? Aw, oh, just in time for the rain to stop. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And Korok seeds here, anything I can manipulate with Ultra Hand? Nah, nah, I'm just stalling at this point. All right, that's enough stalling for part 100 of this walkthrough. What do you, oh, actually, no, what do you know? There is a Korok seed over here, so my time over here was not put to waste. Boom, baby! Of course, of course! Now it's a proper part 100 of a gameplay walkthrough. Now that I have a Korok seed. And how many Korok seeds? Oh, I had heard that Korok forest was all weird for a while there, but I guess now it's back to normal. That makes me happy! Yay! I didn't know you had more to say. But yeah, I rescued Korok forest. I'm gonna take my arrow back too. And also, when I warp out of here, that should put me at, what is it, 153 Korok seeds? I'll explain why that's significant in just a moment. But for now, let's warp on out of here. Let's warp on over. Yeah? How many Korok seeds I got? Oh, 150. No, no, no. I'm at 173 Korok seeds. Never mind. 
I have 152 shrines. Well, darn it. All right, well, I was just gonna say if that was my 153rd Korok seed, 153 is the Pokedex number of Bailey, who was my favorite Pokemon, but we can also do 152, which is Bailey's pre-evolution and first form Chikorita. I like that Pokemon. 173? Gee, what would that be? Like Bampy or something? Also, do you guys mind waiting for a second while I go ahead and grab a quick Dragon's Claw from this dragon while it's easily visible? I can totally glide over here, grab a part, and then make it back before the sun goes down. Give me just a second. Hello, dragon. Hello. No, I'm gonna get it real quickly, and if I have to go into the depths, then so be it. I'm mashing the A button. Come on, Tulin, give me that extra gust to win. Please, 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 please. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I did not know I was gonna come encountering a dragon, but I guess I should've known because we're looking for dragon markings, right? All right. I was hoping I could get, get like a horn or a fang, but if I gotta settle for a generic scale or just its claw, that's fine too. I'll see if I can go for the claw. There we go. All right, right there. Go for the claw. Boom, baby. All right, now we'll drop down. Let's see if I can catch it on the way down. Woo, I guess I've never gotten one before. Ferocious claw. Yeah, I, I'm sure I've established this in previous parts of this walkthrough, but depending on where you hit the dragon, that determines what part you get from it. Since I hit it in the claw, I get a claw. There's also one for hitting it in the horn and just one for hitting it on its general body. I thought maybe there was a fang part, but I think I'm mistaken. I think I'm confusing that for regular bacoblins and moblins and whatnot and whatnot. Okay. Now, I mean, I guess there's no real need for me to go back down here. I mean, I guess, oh, there might be a Yiga thing that I never did here. Okay, you know what? I'll get a quick Yiga blueprint real quickly. Why the heck not? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That could have been the end of me. All right. All right, so what I do need is I need a Keys Eyeball so I can find whatever Yiga person's flying around and then I can shoot you out of the sky. Or is it possible that I did do this one already and I am simply wasting time over here? Hmm, I thought I saw something flying around, but no. I can see the dragon though. Hello, oh, I can't even look straight up with that. Maybe I did do this already. Did I do this one already? There's a Poe over here that I never got. Oh, no, 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 because this, and I gotta get, I gotta get you here. All right, boom. There. Is that the only one? Because then that's easy enough, and I'll gladly grab the bananas and the rupees. I don't mind getting corrupted a little bit in my hearts. As soon as I return to the surface, my hearts will be fine. Yeah. Come on in here. Come on in here. If I can eliminate you without having to use a Keese eyeball, that'd be great, but if I gotta use one, so be it. All right, you know what? I got better than that. I got Aracuda eyeballs, and I know I can just buy those. Hey! That was supposed to be better! Why did I do a whopping nothing? All right, fine, fine. I'll, I'll chase you around the perimeter. If I go in the opposite direction you're going, we should collide in about 10 seconds, if not sooner. All right, and yes, we have the dragon's theme playing in what would otherwise be a climactic showdown. Boom, I don't even need an Aracuda eyeball. I'll just fight you the old fashioned way. Boom, all right. So if I wanna like hop on this. Oh, that's kind of fun. I imagine this is what the blueprint for this location is gonna give me. Well, is there another one of you? Is there one in the sky? Because otherwise I fought two of you already. Oh, but sorry, I didn't mean to just run straight into a spike. I was I was too busy looking up that I couldn't see what was ahead. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What have we got here? Hmm. There's got to be more of you. Is there something over here, perhaps? Because I, I don't think I can just walk into the doors just yet, can I? Oh, I can. Did I, did I do this already? Now I'm just confused. I think I did, but the enemies just reset because there was a blood moon, right? And I can't get another dragon part because I already hit it. Okay, I think I'm wasting my time here. I got some extra rupees and some extra bananas. That's nice, but otherwise, yeah, there's not there's not much more for me to do here. If I go back up here, it's gonna do nothing. I grabbed the Poe that was here. There's no treasure chest inside of here. All right, that's fine then. At least I got the dragon part. All right, detour. Over. Let's go back. Oh, no, no, I, I know that secret of the ring ruins. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I am trying to get back over to the Skyview Tower that I had no issue warping to previously. All right. I hope I didn't just weird out those guys. They're like, oh, hey, Link, you're here. All right, see you later. And then they just saw me jump down a hole. <laughs> I hope I didn't terrify them. And anyway, what was I saying before I warped over here? Oh, yeah, number 153 is Bayleaf's Pokedex number. Unless you're playing Pokemon Let's Go, then it would be Melmetal because there's 151 Pokemon in the first generation of Pokemon games, and then they added two more for Let's Go. And then as you get into the second generation, you get Chikorita and Bayleaf. Now what's what's 172? Whoops, I did not mean to fire that arrow. I don't, I don't know why I just did that. Okay, it's late. It's not too late. How are we doing? Ah, so you're here. Come to learn about the Zonai from an expert, I gather. 
I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Taro has already gone off to the Zonai Ruins. If memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation around Drakozu Lake. I don't know his exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast, you should find the Zonai Ruins he volunteered to inspect. That said, it's night now and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept up in his work at the site? My goodness, the man is absolutely indef <laughs> indefatigable. Okay, got it. Sorry, I disappeared for half a second to chase after a dragon and that guy was like, well, I'm, I'm not even waiting. Can't say I blame him. Okay, so Drakozu Lake. Is that something I have marked here? This is Daya Lake. Drakozu Lake. Drakozu Lake, over here. We're gonna go in this direction. So the other way then. At least I can shield surf for like half a second. See that? I'm shaving off milliseconds of this video by temporarily shield surfing and it gave me a topic to have my commentary focus on for about half a second. Also, hang on. The bright blue marker. Oh, I have that over here from when I was hunting the geoglyphs. We can get rid of that now. Okay, moving on along then. If I do this, hang on. Oh, that's Kilton over there. Kilton has a building right there. I would like to actually mark this for future use, okay? So this we'll put as, uh, technically this is more fitting for Kilton, but will that remind me that it's a shop? I feel like I'm gonna forget. We'll, uh, we'll do that. All right, I guess it's gonna, that's gonna have to do it. All right, let's glide over here and then I'll go up and then I'll go over. Oh, and then I'll grab that Hyrule herb. Yes, these are good for, cook for cooking. They're also just good for wolfing down in, in case I need quick easy hearts and don't have time to cook anything. Although I, I do have a fair share of portable pots. I will use those in due time if I, just, if I don't just flat out use a regular pot for cooking. Okay, so let's see. So, I guess we're just gonna keep going to the left here. Drakozu Lake, huh? Yeah, I do believe this place held some significance back in Breath of the Wild. It was a place where you had to access a shrine by dropping in, oh, actually, yeah, this is the exact spot. This was a place that I guess I'd been to previously to access a shrine in Tears of the Kingdom. Of course, I've been playing this game for over a year, so I guess I've already forgotten. Yeah, Spring of Courage. But in Breath of the Wild, you had to like drop a dragon's claw in here, and that's how you access the shrine that was over here. Okay, well, I'm here now. This is Drakozu Lake. I'm not seeing a dude. I'm not, oh, unless it's this. Uh, could you be referring to this glowing light over here? Or, at least somewhere near it, maybe you've set up camp over here. This seems like a human-made camp. Here you go, I'll grab those lotus lead, float, fleet lotus seeds. Let's see. Dear Callop, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see that pillar-shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. An anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar open, revealing a way inside! A new discovery! Naturally, I will be going inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can, Taro. Oh boy, should I go and get Callop? He left this note here for Callop, so he must be assuming that Callop's gonna follow soon, right? Maybe not at nighttime, but in the morning when it's brighter and safer? All right, well then I'll go ahead. So you opened this up, huh? Was this open before? Probably not, you must have opened this. Oh, well you didn't go too far. Okay, there's a treasure chest up there. Should I dare open that or are we gonna get to, into some Indiana Jones shenanigans and a ball's gonna come down and crush us? Although it wouldn't be the first time in this walkthrough, huh? Just a few parts ago I already had that happen, so I can take this on. But what do you have to say, Taro? Uh. Aha! You came after all. I figured you would after you made that breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try it deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Maybe it's a poem? Or some kind of code, perhaps? Yeah, what you got? Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. The first part says, Wear the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide-mouthed forest serpent. What do you make of forest serpent and dragons there? To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins designed to look like dragons. Tall pillars around these ruins, okay. Forest serpent though, I haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other wide mouth forest serpent is there? Maybe, hmm, the forest serpent bit? 
does remind me of a song that compared the Dracozu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code I'll keep reading. Aww. Next it says, offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Well, I got plenty of Zonai charges. I can definitely offer one of those up. What in the world is a Zonai charge? And where is this tale with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one other thing I'm curious about. Is it that sticky lizard on the wall to the left? No, but there is a treasure chest up there. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it to open. Can't crack the code, can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. Don't worry though, I'll help you out. I'm gonna grab this too. There you go, Sticky Lizard! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sticky Lizard! Thank you. All right, so I'll go ahead and crack it open myself. And what might be in here, huh? Is it booby trapped? Charged shirt, hey! Okay, cool, gladly take that. All right, so let's see what we got here. So where are the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth for serpent? Offer a zone I charge the altar at the tail. So yeah, I guess if I look at the map, this is kind of like a mouth, right? This looks like a mouth and this part at the end kind of looks like a tail. Now, how far down does the tail go? Not as clear, but if I just follow it along, maybe there is a place where I can offer a zone I charge. Okay. For now, let me read this one more time. Where are the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth for serpent? Okay, so you want me to put this on? Because I mean I can. There you go, looking pretty stylish. I mean, I could stack it with this for extra flair, but no, 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 hang on. I don't want to steal the whole show now. We'll keep it at that. All right, so I got this on. And now you want me to presumably go back out here and wear it, on, wear it atop one of the pillars, right? Or actually, should I go back and talk to you again now that I've opened up this treasure chest? Do you have anything new to add? Because that's what I would like to see. All right, so what we got? Wait just a minute, that outfit you've got on. Isn't that the same thing the figure in the mural is wearing? Where in the world did you find that? Aww. Upstairs, in the chest I told you about earlier? But if that's true, there's nothing else it could be but a garment from the Age of Legends. Mm. Now that's a haul to remember. Still, your outfit isn't exactly like what we see in the mural. Maybe there are other treasure chests containing the rest of the garments. The problem is, searching for treasure chests without a plan is a long shot. Robbie was talking about making, about creating some way that can make searching for things simple though. I do have that exact thing, huh? Wow, you're saying you already have the Sensor Plus feature? That should make our search for treasure chests much easier. All right, that's what you want me to use, and that's what you're gonna get. So I guess I gotta have the whole outfit. And then the other treasure chest should be on top of pillars or something, right? If I'm understanding this correctly. With any luck, once I collect them all, I hopefully won't get shocked to oblivion anymore. I should be able to just completely resist shock damage. Guess we'll find out. First things first though, we're gonna go to the Hyrule Compendium. We're gonna go over to the left. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna enable the treasure chest radar. All right, let's see where we're going. So far, no treasure chest nearby, but that's probably a good thing. That would mean that this place is well designed enough to where there won't be any other conflicting treasure chests. Just the ones that I need should show up on the radar as I get close. So, all right, this is this is the dragon's mouth. This is it right here. I also see a dragon all the way up there, but that's not gonna do me much good, unless I wanna get a better photo of it. Oh, that, that's Zelda. Hi, Zelda! <laughs> all right, if I go inside here, treasure chest nearby, all right. Do we wanna go up? I mean, I guess I could. <laughs> all right, if I ascend through this part, will I be good to go? Yes, I will. So let's go to the top, whoa, immediately into cutscene. Okay, I must have hit some other part along the way, but as long as I get to the top of this whole sculpture, this whole shebang, I should be fine, okay? Cause I get the feeling treasure chest will be at the top. All right, oh, back up this way potentially. Okay, let's see. Oh, higher up, all the way at the top, all the way. Let's see, oh, a Korok seed, and what the hey. All right, I'll grab it real quickly, sure. All right, here we go. I'm going, I got plenty of stamina. I can always consume more food if I need more stamina. Here we go, boop, extra Korok Seed. All right, this is Korok Seed 174. What Pokemon do we think this is? It would be 20 after the start of the game. It's probably like Ledian. <laughs> Ledian or something. All right, treasure chest still this way. Uh, I don't suppose it's like, here or something. No, it's gonna be back. Uh, really, still up here, huh? Hopefully this is the one I need. 
Uh, okay, I'm just gonna send through this real quickly. As goofy as it is, it is faster, it saves me some stamina, and we get to watch the little cutscene again. Okay, is it inside the cave? Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh, well, I mean, unless I keep going up here. Because eventually it'll say that I'm, I'm like, beyond it, right? Okay, I guess it is inside the cave. It's gonna be inside where the shrine is. That's fine, so be it. At least going up here resulted in me finding a Korok seed, so that, that's neat and all, I'll take that. Also, there's a little lightning bolt there, huh? Little lightning bolt to indicate that this is the realm of the electric dragon. Also, is it gonna be related to that? To the thunderhead clouds? Maybe. Let me double check this real quickly. If I glide over to this pillar, will it tell me that there's a treasure chest nearby? Because if not, no big deal. Oh, that's just, that's just the where I just was, except I went in through the base. Okay, so there's no treasure chest over there. Okay, so in that case, we'll go back inside the area where the shrine is, and since I just got a Korok seed up top, then there really shouldn't be anything else to, to like drag me away, right? There's no Korok seed down here. They wouldn't put one that close, maybe. Okay, spring of courage. So I'm here. Is it gonna be inside there? Is that the idea? You want me to stand here and pray? Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. I can no longer sense the presence of the mother goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I gathered that you know something of this. Yeah, which goddess statue? The mother goddess statue was a towering sculpture who served as a model for the rest of us. I believe that was the sculpture that got knocked over back at the Forgotten Temple when I explored that two parts ago. She dwells in a forgotten temple by all, resting at the end of a deep canyon. I know that one. I know exactly the one. It is, it, it is true then, the goddess statue in that canyon has toppled. There are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me restore her. Seek the golden spirit for Roche. Who loses, who loses lightning as she dances across the heavens when you have gained Ferocious Claw offered at the spring. I think I just got it. Let me see, just to double check, Ferocious Claw. I speak of the sharp claws charged with lightning on the tips of the Golden Spirit's limbs. One who approaches too closely puts themselves at risk. Shoot from afar and a fragment should fall safely to the earth. Devout swordsman, lend me your aid. I just got that on the way here. And this is a side quest, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. I just got that on the way here. That's exactly what I just got. So hey, me taking that detour proved to be worthwhile after all, huh? So let's sort by type real quickly. It should be among the more valuable items that I've obtained. Let's see. We need, okay, so we got the Shard of the Dragons right here, but, oh, here we go. So we got Dinral's Claw, Nadra's Claw, and Ferocious Claw. I just got this. How perfect. Okay, I put that away. So let's talk to you again. Can I just hand it to you? Okay. Seek the golden spirit Feroche, who looses lightning as she dances across the heavens. I, I did that. Okay. You want me to just drop it here? Does it mean I can? Here. Right there? Oh, there we go! Yep, it's just like Breath of the Wild! Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pi pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Yo, it's Topaz! The electric gemstone, I like it, thank you. There are two other goddess statues who guard springs as I do. For the sake of the mother, mother goddess statue, I ask that you assist them as well. Well, I'm glad that side quest is done. One less side quest to worry about in the future. But for now, there is more for me to do. I can't, oh, it was green for a second. Oh, oh green, need that green. There we go! It is possible to ascend through here. Okay, so, there might not actually be a treasure chest up here. It might be inside there, and the way to access inside there is maybe to go around and access the shrine. Maybe this isn't the treasure chest that I need. Oh, okay, I lost a heart there because I was wandering aimlessly, but to lose one heart after that whole ordeal, I'll take it. All right, so I get the feeling that whatever treasure chest I need to access is not gonna be over by that shrine. I think instead I should be southbound and see if I can find treasure chests or a treasure chest this way. Because the thing is, th he was talking about how I have to utilize the pillars of the river. So I'd like to get atop the pillars. I don't suppose you're referring to these pillars or some other pillars or maybe future pillars that I'll find along the way. I don't know. But it's, if it's anything that the depths taught me, or you know, just the entirety of this game, not specifically the depths, it's that it is advantageous to get to higher ground so that you can better traverse over the nearby locale. That is to say, it's easier to work your way down than it is to work your way up. So let me get up to wherever I can, use it as a vantage point, and then I can glide my way down. Yep. 
Man, my treasure radar is just not going off at all, huh? Well, I guess I can still follow the river down. See where it goes, and as I go down, maybe my treasure rate off, radar will go off. If nothing else, maybe I can still just offer a Zonai device at the bottom. Oh, hello! Oh, there goes my treasure radar! Okay, here. Yeah, okay, I guess I gotta fight you from outside. From beyond the water, so be it. Hey, you know what? I'm in the right region. Tis the season to get shocked! There you go. All right. Tool and shoot him. Tool and shoot him, okay. Look, I'm only fighting you because I need more Lizalfos parts. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And then I can't do anything with this. Oh, I mean, I, there's a rock here. Do I want to fuse it with anything? No, I got I got plenty of rocky weapons. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Back this way then. Oh, a silver Lizalfo. Oh! Oh, well, they're just gonna make it this obvious. Okay, it's inside of this. I, I already got it. And on that note, as I just said, I got plenty of rocky weapons. Here we go. Let's go inside here then. Well, at least the treasure radar will help me to find these areas a little more swiftly. Great. So it's not on top of pillars or anything after all. Me just going on top of that pillar was just a nice bonus. So charged trousers, great. Glad I got my pants. Now I gotta go ahead and get the headgear. Here we go. So I guess I just gotta keep going down. And then at the bottom, at the bottom, at the end of it all, you know, after I get my electric resistant headgear, after that, there should be a place for me to offer a Zonite charge. And that I am more than willing to do. But let's just keep going along the river now. Unless that was the tail. Oh, no, no, there's a treasure chest nearby. Too far? Inside here? Back this way, perhaps? Let me see. Where is the treasure radar specifically telling me to go? Oh, that way anyway? Okay, well then you know what? I'm gonna get the Master Sword back out until I need another weapon to bust open some rocks. And if you want me to destroy that electric choo-choo, I will, I will gladly do it, okay? Here we go. Boom, well, ready? What's up, buddy? Got it. Thank you. Hey! You didn't drop it. Oh, yes, you did. You did drop some choo-choo jelly. Never mind. Never mind. You're good. I'm, I'm wrong. You're good. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this way. Oh, yep. That would be the doors right there. What do you know? I just need a sharp weapon for this one. Okay. As long as I can stand here. Otherwise, I'll shoot a fire arrow or something. All right. So this should be the last electrical part. Can I get myself a sticky lizard? Sticky lizard! No! Nope. It got away. I could have been more stealthy, but stealth is not the name of this part. It's specifically named part 100 with some sort of witty title. <laughs> all right, anyway, here we go, boom. That's everything. All right, now that that's all done, you want me to go to the end here and offer up a Zonai device, right? All the way to the bottom. I'll keep going. I'll follow the river along. Maybe there'll be some other sort of treasure chest along the way, hmm? Although hopefully there won't be, because hopefully that means I'll have gotten everything. But if there is another treasure chest along the way, then I'll go ahead and take advantage of it. All right. Let's do a little gliding. You know, frankly, if I'm gonna be going through a river, I should have the Zora outfit on. Oh, I'm actually going against the current now, right? It looks like the water's, oh, I guess that makes sense. I was in a pond, right? That would explain why the pond was there, is that the water flowed into there. Okay, hang on, but at least if I do this, I can get more Hyrule Bass. Okay, and this looks like it's the end. I think I can make it to the end of the water by mashing the X button. I think this is a, this is a situation where I want to mash the X button and not just swim casually like I would with climbing. There we go, I can make it to here. And we are up. All right, now we're good. Boom, 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 all right. So now I'm at the bottom, and what do you know? I missed a Thunderwing butterfly. I missed them all. No worries, I just gotta remember if I ever need those again and I don't wanna buy them from Beetle, this is the place to get them. All right, this is another ruins looking door. If I go inside here and offer up a Zone device somewhere, I should be good to go, right? Do I offer it up here? This has got to be the place. Okay, treasure chest nearby as well, huh? You know what, on that note, let's go ahead and disable the treasure chest radar. They are Shrine of Light, even though I've done all the shrines, so this isn't even gonna be useful anymore. But okay, if I offer a Zonai charge here, I should be good. And if it's sorted by material type, Zonai, oh, oh, no. It's gonna be sorted by type, and then it should be at the bottom, yeah? My Zonai charges are always at the bottom. There we go, just need the one. Thankfully, I've got plenty of them, and I'm dressed in the proper attire, so let's see what happens. There it goes!
Oh. You know, there was a part of me that thought that those thunderclouds could be removed for, or due to some plot related event, but I chose to go up there and get all the shrines anyway, but I acknowledge that it would have been a lot easier to conquer those shrines had I done this plot related event first. But that's fine. Now I should be able to easily warp back up there and see what it is I need to do up there. Callop, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Yeah, it was like a bunch of lightning rods, but we sapped all the lightning out of everything. Well, cool. Hopefully you'll still recognize me in this outfit. Hi. Oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. I've never seen lightning strike like that. And even stranger, the dragon statues' eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. I walked in here with the outfit and offered his own eye charge and it sapped the lightning out of these thunder clouds that contain two shrines that I visited just a couple parts ago. In fact, they contain the final two shrines that I ever did in this walkthrough. But now I can warp back up there willy nilly and see what those areas are supposed to look like without the thunderstorm. So I'm kind of glad that I chose to do the shrines when I did because that way I can showcase before and after. A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunder clouds and revealed some new sky islands? Great catch, another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say, <laughs> It's the Hall of the Century! It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Yeah, too bad you can't warp with me. Or you can go ahead and get your own arm corrupted and make yourself an auto-build hot air balloon. But I can get up there. Hmm, oh. you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura right away. Oh. Callop, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around the floating ring ruin in a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. No. What? Remain here? You mean alone? Uh. Yes, even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much more to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Callip. Uh. He wants me to investigate alone? Field work isn't my strongest suit, but this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Hey. Right, leave it to me, Taro. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll head back to our base of operations for a bit first. All right, well, I guess we're done here. Do you want me to just go to the Sky Islands then? Because that I can do. This main quest isn't over yet, right? Let's see what the game says. Secret no, we're not done yet. So let's see what the game wants me to do. A fork of lightning heralded the appearance of a new Sky Island. But on the map, this is the part that's marked again. Do you want me to go to the Sky Island? Because that seems simple enough. I, I can just go up here. Uh, that, that, that's easy. All right, here, I even use, I use the gotcha machine and everything. I, I got everything I'm gonna need. So it comes down to whether, okay, fine. We'll stop back here real quickly, see what they say. And if they want me to go to the Sky Island, I mean, I'll gladly do so. I'll do it in this part, it's part 100 of the walkthrough. We can go ahead and get a bunch of stuff done. We're not even an hour into the video yet. You know, there were several parts of this walkthrough leading up to this point that were like one hour, two hours. You know, I can I can go ahead and knock this out as well and then I'll find some other comfortable stopping point for this part of the walkthrough. For now, let's stop back here real quickly. And then once I'm done chatting with the folks here, I'll probably get dressed into some better attire. So what you got? How you doing? Oh, it's you. I see you found my base of operations for surveying. The new sky islands you discovered were an amazing find. I'd love to explore them myself, but we have no way of getting up that high. If only I could fly. Think of all the research breakthroughs I could make. Oh yes, what was I saying? I lost myself in thought there. Since last we met, I've been keeping up my investigation of the ruins. No doubt an amateur ruins enthusiast like you is curious about how that's proceeding. Sad to say, it's a bit early for that now. The investigation is still underway. Even now, I'm hard at work processing everything I've learned. Not resting idly, as some dullards might believe. Yes, this is my chance to do some solo work. I'll get results, and with that, recognition at last! Very well. It seems as though my time here is not that useful, but... But... I will utilize this opportunity to cook one or two more foods that can give me a stamina boosting effect. So we'll go to, oh, we'll go back to type actually. And then I got these stamella shrooms and then I can stack that with the herbs, right? That way it should restore a bunch of health and should give me a slight stamina boosting effect. So let me see, let me see. Uh, it gives me more health than the stamina boosting effect. Let's do the inverse. Hold and then one, two, three, four. How about that, huh? It should create the same food, but with inverted results. In this case, giving me a whole bunch of stamina and then just like one heart, right? No, it's still a bunch of hearts, but a full wheel of stamina, that's nice, okay. And then how about a stam bulb? We cook a couple of those, just three of those, huh? Gotta make sure I got that stamina. And then after this, I'll probably cook one more food and then I'll get dressed and then I'll go up to the islands myself. 
So there you go, energizing cooked stam bulb, great. And then, I don't suppose I have like a monster or a fish that grants stamina, or like a, a cricket, restless cricket. Stamina recovery elixir, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, and we'll fuse that with bacobbling guts. There you go, just need something quick. This is up and dirty, a stamina elixir. Let's get that going, otherwise I wanna hang on to this stuff. Oh, it's not a whole lot. I need more oomph to that. So, hot footed frog, speed boost. Although frankly, I could I could use this real quickly as well. And we'll do two bacoblin guts. There you go. One quick stamina. Okay, okay, okay. One more quick stamina elixir after this, and then I'm actually done cooking for now. All right, slip sticky elixir. That's nice. Okay. We need restless cricket and sure. I'll hold the both of those, and we'll get three of those out. Okay. That should give me a nice beefy stamina elixir that will restore all sorts of stamina. How's that? Eh, it's better. Okay, now that's done. Let's go ahead and get dressed into something a little more comfortable because I don't think I need the stormy weather attack right now. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go for some defense. All right, now I can comfortably return to the sky because I've already conquered every shrine in the game and I already came up here when it was doused in thunderclouds. So I'll warp up here and I'll see just what it is I'm supposed to do up here. If nothing else, it's a good excuse to explore these islands again now that the thunder clouds are removed because I was only ever up here when it was shrouded in clouds and it was a miserable experience, but I made it work. I found both of the shrines and I was able to use the gotcha machine. So now that it should be all sunshine and rainbows, I should be fine. In fact, I think this, no, this is not the one I actually wanted to go to. I think I needed to go to the other one. What do you mean there's still a lightning storm here? What are you talking about? I got rid of all the lightning storm, although hey, I can see everything in here now. Before I couldn't even do that. At least I remember that in order to get out of here, I had to do this, okay. But if I, if my equipment, if my body starts attracting electricity, I will switch, every, switch everything out. But yeah, it's, it's much more visible now. It's much more enjoyable now. There you go, and then up top, boom. So I never did anything with these, huh? This is what you wanted me to, to do? You wanted me to do something with this? Perhaps not. I'm not certain what the what this would accomplish. Or, it, this is just another launch platform. Then how do I ignite it? Because previously... Hmm. Normally you would use these to launch yourself onto another part of the island. I don't know if I need to do that. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go all the way to this tip here and see if anything's over there. And if that proves to be a whole lot of nothing, I can always just work back over to this shrine and see what's over here, right? Because this is actually Dragon Head... I oh! Actually, maybe I should skip this part. This is actually Dragon Head Island. This is the head. These are the Thunderhead Isles, and then that's just the tail. Does the adventure log say anything? Dragon Pillar. I guess it does provide a parallel to where I just was. That whole that whole region that looked like a dragon, right? Like the, the mouth here and everything. By the way, I can remove that pin. Okay, never mind then. Let's go straight to here. And then I'll ascend through here and see what else there is for me to do over in this part of the island. Let's give that a try. And if this doesn't work, then yeah, I'll work my way backwards off of this dragon head and I'll go back down to the tail. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out though. I'm already making progress. I already was able to take care of the Kakariko village stuff. Let's see what else there is for me to do in here because this was like a pretty significant location when I visited it. And sure, here's an extra zone I charged to make it for the one that I had to offer uh, previously. Hmm. Should I just go straight for the doors here? This seems somewhat important. Open that up! <laughs> oh, snap! I guess I needed a specific amount of hearts in order to get this door open. Uh, I'm not at full health. Hopefully I didn't need to be at full health. But it is reminiscent of when I got the Master Sword and I needed a certain amount of hearts and stamina in order to get that, so... I think I'll be okay? Oh, I'm more than okay. Alright. Well, good to know. Glad I chose to do this after I conquered all of the shrines and fought Demon King Ganondorf and got a bunch of heart containers. Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. Got my hearts back. Okay. Uh, hi. How can I help you? Or how can you help me?
Link. Zelda's chosen protector. Take this. Follow the light. Follow the light, huh? I can do that. I can do that. You want me to just glide over there? You want me to use a little bird platform to glide over there? Because I can gladly do that. Alright, if you don't want to supply me one, I'll get one out myself. Alright, here we go then. Oh, wow, that's the end of that main quest? Really? Just that? Alright. Oh, aha! Guidance from ages past. Hmm. Very well then. We're still trying to find that fifth sage. Perhaps then... Perhaps this would be an appropriate time to end this part. Something of a weird time to end it, but considering I just finished one main quest and started another, it does seem like a good stopping point. And the whole fifth sage main quest still has yet to be completed, so hopefully I'll complete that within the next part or two. But for now, that wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos, and hey, I now can look like this. So, how about this for part 100 of the walkthrough, huh? Huh? I like that. I got the power of lightning on my side, or at least lightning resistance, so. Boom, part 100, we're wrapping up the game. We're in the home stretch. Just a couple more parts to go. But for now, bye bye humans! Thank you all for your support over the past year, and thank you for supporting me for 100 videos! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!